Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, I am Pranita. And before we get started with this video, I just want to say if you're having a bad day, know that you deserve the universe and that you are capable of achieving anything that you want to if you set your mind to it. And whatever it is that is bothering you right now, I hope it finds its way out of your life. And yeah, I hope you have a great day ahead. I hope you focus your energy on being grateful for everything that you have rather than uh, focusing it on everything that you don't have and everything that's not going right in your life right now. Anyway, that being said, as you see, I'm really trying very hard to cover what's there in the backdrop. That's because I'm going to make a separate video on that. I'm working on making a very nice backdrop for my video and I have done some part of it, which I'm trying very hard to cover. Uh, yeah, getting back to this video. So as you've already read by the title, I'm going to teach you how to make resin coasters. Now, this was the first time that I made resin coasters and you're watching this video because it turned out well. I have worked with resin in the past, but I haven't made coasters. But yeah, it turned out really well and I'm so excited to share everything with you. Now, the video that I made turned out to be very long. It was 44 minutes long and I thought I'll break it down. So I'm breaking it down into three parts. This is the first part. You're going to learn how to make silicone molds from scratch. If you're here to learn how to make silicone molds, you can skip to this part of the video. But uh, I'm just going to give you a little brief about everything that you're going to need to make the resin coasters because in case you want to make them, then by the time the next video comes out, you can have your products ready. And yeah, that is the motive of this introduction. Uh, the first part is again, like I mentioned, we're making silicone molds from scratch. The second and the third part, we're going to cover how to make the resin coasters. Now, the second video, the second part, which will come up on Thursday is going to be a little long because I'm going to explain in detail how I made it and um, the ratio of the pigments, the technique and everything will be in the second part. And in the third part, we'll see how I finish off the product just to give you a rough idea of everything that you're going to need to make the resin coasters. In today's episode that is making silicone molds, you're going to need a silicone sealant and a cock gun. Now the silicone sealant comes in a tube which you have to insert on the cock gun so that the silicone can be poured on your base. Now you can get the silicone sealant at any hardware store, it's very cheap. So moving on to what you're going to need to make the resin coasters, obviously you're going to need resin and hardener. They come as a pair so any if you go to the hardware store and ask for resin, they'll give you hardener as well. I'll put the link in the description in case you want to buy it from Amazon. However, I would prefer that you go ahead and buy it from the hardware store itself. Um, yeah, that said, uh, the next thing that you're going to need for the resin coasters is pigments. Now you can use the powdered pigments or you can use um, acrylic paints. I personally like a combination of both. So I have the powdered pigments and I have acrylic paints as well. In, in this tutorial, you'll see me using both of them. Now the powdered pigments are cheaper comparatively, uh, very cheap. I'm going to leave a link to the powdered pigments in the description as well from Amazon. Now know that I haven't bought anything from Amazon. There's a store that I visit for all the supplies and I got it from him. But I'm going to leave the Amazon links in case you want to buy it from Amazon. And uh, that is all you're going to need. Um, pigments, resin, hardener and you might need a hot gun. But it's okay if you don't have the hot gun, you can use a blower. Just make sure that you use it from a distance. You're going to need rubber gloves. You should never work bare hands with resin. Always wear your gloves and also make sure you wear a respiratory mask when you're working with the resin. If you don't have a respiratory mask, just layer two, three masks on top because uh, resin is a chemical and it can harm you in the long run. Yeah, that's all about everything that you need in case you want to uh, make the resin coasters with me. This is all the stuff that you need to stock up on. And yeah, let's get started with the part one of the series of making resin coasters with Pranita. Let's get started. start with making the silicone molds for that you're going to need some silicone sealant and a cock gun now you need to uncap the silicone sealant cut the tube a little and then put the cap back on and then mount the tube on the cock gun now as you see i have an mdf board that i have taped plastic on i'm showing you a small flip of how i taped it on you cannot do it alone you will have to take somebody's help you can also do this on a tile or any plain surface 
but make sure you are putting plastic I was planning to make circular molds so I went ahead and drew circles for reference but you can go ahead and do it freehand. I'm going ahead with my first layer of silicone and as you see it falls down very quickly. This was my second attempt at making these molds. The first attempt was a big fail now that was because the silicone that I got was very dry and it was very difficult to get it out of the gun. But this one as you see flowed very easily and uh, I thought the first layer was very thin and that I had to go ahead over it because I wanted my resin coasters to be a little thick. After doing the second layer, I realized that that is not enough as well and I went ahead with the third layer. Now, after applying the three layers of silicone on top of each other, what I did was I wanted to smoothen the edges out because as you see, one layer on top of the other doesn't fall in the same place and there were gaps and if I left it as is, the resin would leak. So I dipped my hand in soap water and then I smoothened out the edges a little. Now after I was done with applying 3 layers of silicone sealant, what I did was I used Fevicol on the outer corners for extra protection because I didn't want the resin to leak and after this is dry, now it takes 24 hours for the silicone molds to dry and after it's dry you need to perform a leak test and by that I mean you need to pour water in it and see if the water is leaking out. If it is leaking you will have to go ahead and cover the patches or else you're good to go. Now as you see my silicone molds are dry and ready to use, as you see they've turned transparent because I bought the transparent silicone sealant. Okay now I'm not gonna lie but using plastic as my base was not a very good idea. I should have used a silicone mat because what I had to do is what you'll see in the next episode of making resin coasters with Pranita is that I had to literally scrape my resin coaster out of the mold. I was hoping to reuse these silicone molds but that didn't work out because I chose plastic as my base. I saw this tutorial on YouTube and trust me that is not working, please do not do this. I would recommend you guys to use a silicone mat. Now if that is not available and you're planning to do this only once then you can go ahead with plastic but if you want to keep making it over and over again then I would definitely recommend that you buy a silicone mat and that's about it for this episode i'll see you in the next episode of making resin coasters with pranita so that was it for today's video of making silicone molds from scratch i hope you had fun if you found this video helpful then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and uh, also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more such videos i'm going to be experimenting with a lot of stuff and if this is something that interests you please hit the subscribe button and also put the bell notification on so that you don't miss any videos that I post in the future and that's about it. I'll see you in the next part where we learn exactly how to make the resin coasters. Bye!